everyone so today we are going to interview dr srm sokalingam sir versatile chairman of the business school so sir it's very honor and great pleasure for us to interview you so you can please share a few words about your experience to start with i was uh, let know with uh, various other banks for about 30 years and importantly i was uh, i was a uh, i was a faculty in uh, staff training college in my bank okay that inspired me when i came out of the bank in 2003 and uh, made me to work three different engineering colleges as professor and head of the department for mba okay and uh, those kind of experience helped me to prepare certain kind of a monographs on uh, research methodology okay. business uh, business communication derivative management international business management all this area okay and also that you no know, i was able to write a book on the art of speaking english okay and it got sold more than 30000 copies okay and it helped me to shape myself as a trainer on communication and soft skills then one day i you know suddenly i thought why don't i start a business school and that's how that you no know, versatile business school was born in the year 2009 great great and like uh, so what is the ideology behind the versatile business school no when i uh, had been working with the engineering college the way in which we taught the mba program was not good enough to synchronize with the industry okay so therefore i thought you know why don't i start a business school okay. so that you no know, groom students to meet the industry requirement Okay. we conducted very you know uh, i had in mind the various industry connect programs okay so that would shape the students to meet the requirement of industry great and like uh, what is your philosophy of leadership style sir leadership that you no know, the over the case may be that you no know, they should have a free mind if, if they don't have a free mind they will not be able to decide things okay one of the thing in uh, management is rational and logical decision making allowing people to take decision that can be stand for over a period of period over a period of 2 years or 3 years simply taking decision won't do well and moreover that you know how to get along how to motivate people all those kind of things are much more important besides learning so oh, fine and like uh, you have some key held position at the education institute throughout your career and what are the key factors that keep you connected at the education sector no i found many students uh, are lacking with language okay one okay number two that no business etiquette and all they are lacking okay sir and uh, that no students are struggling how to synchronize with the industry over a period of time okay and when they take up initial employment they struggle okay and therefore you know i thought you know these are the areas where we can improve the caliber of students and who can meet the industry requirement at least okay so like uh, everyone knows there are a lot of b schools uh, around the cities so like uh, compared to the other b school what is the special thing you have implemented in versatile business school sir? versatile business school you know predominantly interested in uh, this you know uh, importing knowledge than the book okay from the book you know we don't giving a notes we don't believe in that okay sir so the thing is you know we invite people from industry okay. and share their ideas with students okay sir. and how they can do themselves okay to become a what i can say that top top level managers or start their own industry okay sir to inspire we do conduct certain kind of a stock market programs okay and industrial visits okay and industrial connect program shape them to a great extent how they can synchronize with the industry okay sir. and we do conduct certain kind of a um, uh, corporate walk okay corporate etiquette okay and how they can modulate their voices when they move into certain level of companies okay sir. and uh, then we shape them uh, from top to bottom okay and uh, what is the value based knowledge and what are the that you know the responsibilities ethics commitments and uh, responsibilities down the line we do shape them apart from earning okay sir like uh, so like what are the charge no no more than that 
and now we are interested in case study method of learning okay. and uh, we have uh, engaged people you know uh, who have got uh, who have written a uh, case study okay. and many of the case studies you know who have written uh, two three books you know people have done that okay. and we engage those people they came on they, uh, they come on online okay. and do the program okay. and also we ensure that our uh, our uh, faculty members are also involving themselves in preparing case studies in, uh, and uh, that you know, uh, uh, making students to understand the concept through case study method okay. important yeah fine, fine. Mm -hmm. and like uh, what are the challenges you faced to uplift the quality of education in your institute no we handle classes in english throughout okay and now uh, students who were not uh, competent enough in speaking language mm. and they could speak very well okay professionally well business english at the end of their career okay and in the process you know we are also approved by university of cambridge to, to conduct okay uh, their english exam for our students okay and uh, we got uh, enough expertise to conduct ielts mm. beg okay tofel okay pte all these kind of a program including beg Okay. Shape students to learn English language very well, and more about challenges are there. You know, what to students are should fall in line, mm. and also that you know they should get along with people. Okay. So. And these are the area we found some kind of a challenges, mm. but anyhow we have overcome over a period of time. Okay. We got a mentoring program. Okay. We entrust students, you know, five students to each faculty, okay. and make them responsible to mentor these people over a period of time. Okay. we find their uh, what i can say that you know brain spots and ensure that those brain spots they are overcoming in a shorter span of time great so okay. great i like uh, so what is your vision for the next 10 years regarding the institute we plan to introduce new courses like you know machine learning okay um, blockchain okay and uh, digital marketing we already we have done uh, digital marketing we do handle okay. business analytics okay and these are the area we want to concentrate on okay. the emerging area okay apart from that you know we have some kind of a thing in uh, thinking of uh, entering into collaboration with a foreign university okay so student and faculty exchange program great sir. and uh, and uh, many business tours to foreign countries to make the students aware of what is happening happening around no okay. like and uh, what are the your views on the placements and higher education for the students from your department or how does the, your department student prefer for the higher education no mba itself is a higher education no okay and uh, that no uh, we do offer a post graduate diploma in management okay in any of the management uh, mba courses there are only dual specialization are there okay and when they do a pgdm they will also learn one more specialization okay and they will be able to uh, that no uh, develop some kind of a project for additionally oh okay. they will have a two projects in some of one project in mba okay sir. and um, uh, mba and uh, students so the thing is you know <coughs> current year we have got a vision okay we are going to provide banking exam okay tnpsc okay and uh, plus you know various other areas uh, which are emerging area we are going to train okay good. especially my uh, entrepreneur skill development okay good. and we are going to concentrate these yeah. are the area when they equip and they will be ready for those kind of examinations okay good. and we don't want to say the deliver only a raw mba okay uh, they will be shaped in all spheres oh that's great that's great and uh, what valuable advice would you like to give to the students for them to have a prosperous career ahead the students have to identify their passion so okay. once they identify their passion they will direct all their uh, what i can say that you know uh, uh, energy towards reaching that their passion apart from their passion however lucrative the job is going to be and if they engage themselves one day they are going to come out of that so the passion is much more important for them to pursue okay and uh, they should engage themselves on a continuous learning process okay and uh, they should be able you know that we we if you will be we we want the students to ensure that you know they are part of the company and uh, as a part of the company they want to improve the level of uh, progress in the company so no. 
Got it. So in the process, you know, they need to become a pillars of those companies over a period of time. And uh, what they get more than that, they let to give for the company or to their employer. That is much more important. Yes. So really a beautiful words that you have uh, motivated the youngsters of the current scenario. And uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for a great time to have with us. Thank you, sir. Kind of. Thank you.